The Asset is a diamond cut quality assessment tool. Its cone and magnifying lens create a structured light environment which, when placed over a diamond, shows brightness, leakage, and contrast. Depending on how it was cut, light entering a diamond will either reflect and come up to the viewer's eyes as brightness or escape through the bottom as leakage or windowing, causing dark areas. When placed over a diamond, light coming from high angles turns red. Light that reflects and travels up represents brightness. Similarly, light coming from low angles turns green. Light that reflects and travels up from low angles shows areas that are less bright. A viewer looking through the lens will see the brightest areas as red and less bright areas as green. So in asset cut quality assessment, bright areas are red and green. Alternately, if light escapes through the bottom of the stone, that's leakage. It means the facets are acting like windows instead of mirrors. A viewer looking through the lens sees through the bottom of the diamond to the dark receptacle underneath. So in asset cut quality assessment, leakage is dark. That brings us to contrast. Some light from above will always be blocked by the viewer, creating a dark pattern. You can see the contrast effect in diamond photos because the camera blocks light the same way a viewer does. The on and off contrast effect when diamonds move is a dramatic component of scintillation. Asset places blue at the highest angles, so in asset cut quality assessment, the contrast pattern is blue. Let's see the asset in action. Under jewelry store spotlights, both these stones seem big and bright. There's an 80 pointer on the left and a one carat stone on the right. If both cost the same amount, you might be inclined to buy the one carat stone. Before you do, let's analyze them in asset. Red and green are brightness. The stone on the left shows brightness from edge to edge and across the center. Red is abundant with small, symmetrical green areas which are expected. The brightness is unbroken by dark leakage or windowing. The blue contrast pattern is balanced and symmetrical. This is a well-cut stone that will be at its brightest in all lighting conditions. Now let's see the one carat stone. We can see it lacks brightness in many areas, and there's less red than green. There is dark leakage all around the edges of the stone. The blue contrast pattern is unbalanced and pools in the center. This is not a well-cut stone. In a jewelry store, under bright spotlights, they both seem big and bright. But now let's see them in normal lighting. Here, the deficits you can clearly see in asset become apparent. The one carat stone loses brightness at the edges and now it appears visually smaller than the 80 pointer, even though it's physically larger. Here's why this matters to diamond shoppers. Nearly 70% of all round diamonds receive a top cut grade of excellent but 80% of excellent diamonds have performance deficits that can be seen in asset. In closing, we'll show you photos of five examples. These will come one to five from best to worst. It should be useful to know the first four you will see all qualify for the excellent cut grade. With asset analysis, you can tell which are most bright and dynamic and which suffer from leakage and brightness reduction. Your jeweler can purchase one at idealscope.com or generate an asset image with a 3D scan using DimeCalc software.